what's up travelers we're back in Bangkok for the day and we are headed over to the Terminal 21 mall here in Esok and uh, I've heard this place is pretty awesome so check it out well I didn't bring my microphone because it's still Songkran and that's dangerous to have electronics out and about during Songkran festival All right, so we're gonna start at the parking level, but the first level up is the Caribbean. One of the cool things about Terminal 21 here in Bangkok is you get to travel inside your travel, and that's pretty meta. <laughs> So on the Caribbean level, you're going to find a lot of chain restaurant type of places like Dairy Queen, Cafe Amazon, stuff like that. And then you're also going to find some local kind of street foodish kind of uh, stands where you find like peeled pineapples and mangoes and, and pomegranate juice and interesting stuff like that. Now we are departing the Caribbean on our way to go. <laughs> the Rome level is one of the coolest levels in the entire mall. It has all kinds of really, really cool statuary and just cool wall art and everything like that it kind of really almost takes you to Rome it's pretty cool Even the bathrooms are themed here. With this one, you walk in, I didn't record it, but if you walk in, this, the sink faucets are lion heads, and it looks like a Roman bathhouse. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Not to mention, all the toilets have bidets and all that kind of stuff involved with them too. Now we are departing Rome for Paris. The Paris level is fairly lackluster in my opinion. There's a lot of stores and stuff like that, but there really isn't much to be had there. However, it is the floor that attaches directly to the BTS.
from the Paris floor, it takes you on the longest escalator up to this temple, but you miss a couple floors on the way. Well, everybody, welcome to Tokyo in Bangkok. Here in Tokyo, the decorations are the key. They're so awesome. We got the awesome Japanese lanterns, and got the big lucky cat, and Samurai armor, geishas, and, and then you even got sumo wrestlers going at it. It's pretty awesome. Now departing from Tokyo on our way to London. On the London level, the first thing you see, of course, is a big red double decker bus. And then you see a statue of a uh, royal guard. And then a little ways down the road, you see. A directional sign leading you to Buckingham Palace and Westminster Abbey. Then we take a trip through the Circle Line, and of course, no trip to London is complete without one of the big red telephone booths. Now departing London on our way to Istanbul. Part of Istanbul for our destination of San Francisco. San Francisco is actually two floors. The first floor is the city street, and you're going to find a lot of your bigger chain restaurants here, kind of the higher class kind of stuff. And you're also going to run into cool statues like seals sitting in fountains. And then there's also going to be the Golden Gate Bridge that you're going to run into. 
and before you head up to the next level where you find some more, a little less high-end uh, places to eat, and then you're going to find uh, Pier 21, which is the big cafeteria area, which is one of the best places in all of Bangkok to go and find some cheap eats. Now we're headed to Hollywood, and as we go up the escalator, we are greeted with this giant Oscar award. And of course, you can't go to Hollywood without seeing some people trying to make a movie and of course the Hollywood sign got the walk of stars and you're gonna see some movie stars while you're at it all right so that about does it with the tour Let's go get something to eat down on the food court. All right, so the first thing that you have to do when you come to the food court here is you have to buy a food card because none of the vendors here take cash or payment directly. You gotta have a food card. This one cost a hundred baht. So uh, let's go find something to eat. So I ended up with a plate of rice with roasted duck and crispy pork and red pork with a boiled egg and then I got a uh, lychee tea. So let's start with some of this duck here. Oh yeah, that was, that's awesome. So between the, the plate of food and the drink, I ended up spending 65 baht, so just, just shy of two bucks. It's a pretty good deal. <laughs> that crispy pork though, oh man, that is amazing. This was a good call coming to Terminal 21. So remember, if you're in Bangkok and you're in the Asok area and you want some cheap food, come to San Francisco Pier 21 at the Terminal 21 and head to the food court and you 
you'll get some great food at a great price. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And as always, eat great food.